Having the right tools makes the job a lot easier. I was reminded of this recently, trying to saw two by fours by hand outside in the snow. So I'm gonna share with you the top 10 plugins that are gonna make your life a lot easier if you're producing and mixing metal. So the first one on the list is Trigger 2 by Steven Slate Drums. And when it comes to getting the impact and the punch and the consistency in your drums that you hear on Modern Pro Records, you're pretty much always gonna end up needing some help from drum samples. Not always completely replacing, but often at least just enhancing and augmenting. And Trigger is the best plugin for this simply because it's easy to use and it's very accurate. So the way I use it is I'll pull it up here, I'll start auditioning different samples. You know, let's say I'm not really happy with that one, we'll try that one. And I'll try to blend it with something else. Can mix as many as eight different samples together. And then once I'm ready to commit to a sound, I simply commit it down with an offline bounce. And as you can see, super accurate. Everything is nicely aligned there. It also comes with an instrument editor, which I've used to make an entire library of my own drum samples. And I've got one of them below for you to download. It's in the link in the description. It's one of my favorites. It's a deep brass single shot snare, which you just heard in this example. All right, I know some people won't be too happy that the first plugin on my list was for drum samples. Well, in that case, you're really not gonna like the next one, which is Auto-Tune. And look, at a serious level, you just need this. Like even with good singers, for the sake of time, imagine when you're in a session, not only the lead vocal, but the doubles, the backgrounds, the harmonies, you are going to make your life and the singer's life miserable if you insist on never tuning the vocals. And no, it is not ruining music. If you do it right, it just makes it sound better. I'll show you. So here are some untuned vocals. Here they are tuned. It's hard to argue with, and it's it's just the norm. And if you care about your mixes, your productions competing in the real world with other pro records, you just gotta do it. I prefer using auto-tune because it's very convenient during tracking. You can just throw it in auto mode and it's, it's great for the production process. And then when it's time to do the final edit, I just switch it to graph mode and do it manually. But I know a lot of people who use Melodyne too. Totally fine, take your pick. All right, plugin number three is Vocaline because part of that pro vocal sound is not just tuning, but also timing and alignment. And I'll show you what I mean here. So here's a lead vocal and two doubles not aligned. It just depends how safe they keep their secret. Here it is after using vocal line. It just depends how safe they keep their secret. It's just so much better. It's just so much tighter that way. And vocal line is amazing because I used to do this manually with elastic audio, just stretching the different words to try and line them up. And the amount of hours that vocal line has saved me, I mean, I think this plugin's like 100 or 200 bucks, just the project version is fine, but I would happily pay like $2,000 for the amount of time this has saved me. All right, let's get into some guitar and bass. The next plugin on the list is the Sansamp plugin that comes with Pro Tools. And this thing is equally as good as a real Sansamp pedal or rack unit. I use both interchangeably. And often in the mix, I'll have a clean DI and then a dirty Sansamp track. Or in this example here, I'll show you, it's just a DI track and I've got the Sansamp uh, plugin on both. So listen to this. So one kind of cleaner DI sound, and then I've just duplicated that and then cranked up the gain. Nice, really dirty tone to blend it with. And this is something that I'll do on pretty much all my rock and metal, even some pop productions when they need a heavier bass tone. Having that clean track, having a dirtier track, often just with the exact same plugin. It just sounds great, it works every time. And if you're not a Pro Tools user, then you might wanna check out the Dark Glass or Parallax plugins from Neural DSP, or even a free Sansamp clone plugin from TSE, the BOD plugin, totally usable as well. 
Plugin number five is the Archetype Nolly Amp Sim from Neural DSP. I'm, I love this thing. It models uh, 5150, JCM 800, a couple other amps. And those are the actual real amps that I used to have in my studio and made a ton of records on. And let me tell you, this plugin sounds just as good. You can hear it in this mix right now. I like the form of So I love this thing, super versatile, but all of the Neural DSP amps uh, sound just as good too. And even if you're someone who likes tracking with real amps, it's still great to have a plugin like this for, for quick demos and also for pre-production. All right, let's move more into the mixing side of things. Plugin number six is the SSL channel. And my favorite, my go-to for so many years has been just the original Waves SSL channel strip. Almost every plugin company out there has their version of the SSL channel strip. So use whatever one you want, but it, it just gives a perfect sound, both the EQ and the compression. Plus it's super convenient to be able to do all of that, plus filters too, and gates uh, in one plugin without a whole bunch of fancy visual graphs and stuff that are just gonna distract you into mixing with your eyes instead of your ears. And here's why I love this plugin. Check out this kick drum. It's just awesome how you can transform a sound so much just within one plugin. Here it is again on a vocal. I look ahead to the rest of my days. This plugin is on almost every track in my mixes. Highly recommended. Next plugin on the list is also from Waves. It's their CLA 76. And this thing is just, in my opinion, the best sounding vocal compressor plugin that you can have. It's my go-to every time on lead vocals, whether it's heavy stuff, pop stuff, check this out. If we can only see the history. Here it is on singing. It just depends how safe they keep. It just depends how safe they keep this. Love that bluey version on lead vocals. Lots of energy, lots of bite, lots of presence. But the blacky mode on it also sounds great on drums. For example, here it is on drum rooms. <laughs> I also use it all the time on bass guitar and background vocals, sometimes electric guitar. It, it just has that sound. And there's a reason why every legendary mixer has an 1176 in their rack. You're not gonna regret having this. By the way, there's links down below to all of the plugins I'm talking about here. So if you wanna grab any of them, just click there and uh, it'll support this channel. All right, plugin number eight is Low Control by Black Salt Audio. Now, full disclosure, I own this plugin company and I helped design this plugin but I love it. It just makes dialing in the low end and controlling your low end so easy. I'll show you how it works here. It's got two sections on the left, a compressor. So you dial that in. And this basically is just gonna compress the low frequencies only by themselves at whatever point you set it here. And then once that low end is nice and solid and compressed, you can control how much gain you want on those low frequencies. And then over here, we've got an enhance function, which just adds some more harmonics and just fills out the low end of the bass and, and makes it sound bigger, especially on small speakers. This is especially great for heavy music, lower tunings where you really need to help out and control those low frequencies on the bass. It also sounds awesome on mix bus and some people even use it on mastering. And low end is just always a struggle for people, right? So I just wanna simplify this and make it as easy as possible. Plugin number nine is Escalator, also by Black Salt Audio. Yes, I know, I know, but you need a really great go-to saturation when you're mixing these genres and I just love this thing. I, I don't even know exactly what the programmer did when he made it, but it sounds great on everything. I've got it in this mix on snare, on the drum bus, on bass, on my rhythm guitars, on my vocals. Um, just to give you an example of what this thing does, let me play the mix and then I'll take out all the instances of Escalator 
and then I'll put them back in. It just adds this life and energy and makes everything sound bigger and fuller and even a little more aggressive and, and edgy when you need it. Sometimes I'll reach for a Sound Toys Decapitator if I wanna push things a little bit harder. It's an amazing saturation plugin as well. I also love uh, Crane Song Phoenix 2 for more subtle jobs, but as a great all-around go-to saturation, I just love Escalator. All right, I might as well continue on my role of shameless self-promotion. <laughs> Number 10 is Clipper by Black Salt Audio. When I discovered using clipping in the mix instead of limiting, it was a total game changer. Because if you're using limiters, either on your, your drums, your drum bus, or even your mix as a whole, they flatten and they squash your drums and you lose all the punch of your drum transients. And using clipping instead is how you get a loud mix and get everything to be loud without totally losing your drums and losing the attack and punch in your mixes. And this is a secret that the pros know and they use a lot. There's a lot of clippers out there on the market that you could use. I just didn't really like using any of them. So I decided to make my own super simple clipping plugin that just does the job without any silly gimmicks. So that's 10 plugins, but I'm gonna give you one more because this one is pretty key. These go to 11. It's the Slate FGX plugin or the more recently updated version, the FGX2. And I use this plugin to get my mix up to the ballpark of the loudness of a finished mastered record before I send a mix out to clients for review. And you can get pretty decent volume out of this thing without really affecting or destroying your mix at all. So check this out. I find it pretty transparent and I can get all the loudness I need for a reference mix just by turning one knob. And I actually leave a little bit of FGX on my final mixes before I send it off to mastering, which just shows how confident I am and what this plugin is doing. All right, guys, those are my top 10 recommended plugins for metal, plus a bonus. And if you wanna go a little deeper with some more gear recommendations, check out this video here on what you need for a legit home studio setup. <laughs>